Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about something that actually just just happened and it's about Boeing stock here and one of the main things that I've been saying about Boeing stock over the last few months is that it is honestly a great opportunity to buy as this stock was only at $300 before the economic downturn only three months ago. So the fact that they're down so much is obviously representing a great opportunity to buy. But you can see that today we got some absolutely crazy news about their stock and it's really going to affect the future of the stock moving forward and what people start to think about the company because when they were worth $300, a lot of people really thought they were one of the premier companies in the US. They are part of the S&P and now we're actually seeing them kind of fall on hard times with a lot of these airlines not really loving their product with the two crashes that we saw before the economic downturn and now with this new news that just came out. So what is the news that just came out on Boeing that is causing their stock to be down by 3% on the day and will probably cause them to continue selling off into tomorrow. Now, like I said, this is some crazy news here. Boeing just slashed their forecast for new aircraft demand and we already knew that a lot of airlines were considering not using Boeing anymore and were canceling a lot of their orders and we knew that Boeing was basically relying on their smaller aircraft to continue carrying its company but now we just heard that it slashed its 10-year forecast for new aircraft demand by 10% from only just a year ago and even though these events about the crashes about what we saw with Boeing about the economic downturn is less than a year old the fact that this is going to slash their demand or their forecast for by 10 percent is absolutely ridiculous because it is a 10-year forecast it doesn't just mean next year sales it means the future of the company for a very long time and as such, it's really going to mean that Boeing is not any maybe maybe going to fall off and not be a big player in this industry anymore and kind of get dominated by other companies such as Airbus and other companies that are coming up right now. So really, it makes no sense for a company like Boeing to be on such hard times, especially with the amount of federal help they get and the amount of federal aviation help that they've gotten where we actually saw them just do a test flight with the head of the federal um, the federal aviation committee here and the people who control what airplanes can fly and what can't. And it's actually crazy to get this news just a couple days later that their 10-year forecast is down by 10%. So you can see that it really, really affected the stock here. And right now it looks like we might be heading to the downside again. So I kind of want to head over to the technical analysis side of things while I talk about the other event that actually happened as well, where we did hear American Airlines actually report that they are going to be training less employees. They're going to pause the training for these Boeing aircrafts. And what that means is that they don't think Boeing aircrafts are in the future of their company. Now, as soon as this article hit CNBC, you can see the huge sell off that Boeing had. And I was actually watching Boeing this morning because they were coming into a pretty clear breakout pattern here. And I thought they were actually going to break to the upside as I had no clue this news was coming. Thankfully, I didn't make a trade on them. And once I saw this first red candle, I thought to myself, what could have possibly happened to make Boeing sell off over $4 in just a matter of three minutes? And it's actually insane how much they've moved as a result of this news. So it really is a key indication of how much this news really matters and of how this is going to change people's perspective of the company as well as the long-term vision for this stock. Now, in the long term, if you are holding the stock for 10 years, 5 years, whatever, I do think that we are going to see a lot of growth. I think that Boeing is a company that could recover very easily with the amount of federal help they get and with the amount of things that are going in its favor. There are a lot of companies that still use Boeing and still have Boeing aircraft in the air so that's going to be one of the positive things for Boeing. However, this news that companies are looking to move away from them going forward is obviously going to affect them very greatly in the short term. So looking in the short term, I know this 165 resistance is where they just stopped a couple of minutes ago. And the reason why I was looking at the 165 was because you can see that we actually were very supporting right here at this 165. And we've tested this level over three times in the last few months. So it was a very key level for Boeing here. You can see that they were testing this level even today after this news. But once we got the second piece of news about American Airlines and other airlines planning to move away from Boeing, 
you can see that they're now having a second drop on the day and i really think that by tomorrow's open after hours today they are probably going to sell off more and i really think that by tomorrow's morning we are going to have a 162 open price on boeing where we will have to see whether or not they hold up this this support price or if they're potentially going to see a lot more downside looking to reach around the 160 or maybe even their lows of 145 which they haven't seen since the spy was selling off around a month ago so it's going to be very key to see what happens with boeing if you are a long-term investor and you are in profits right now i recommend you to take all your position out and potentially wait for the bottom of this move so you can buy in again at a better price because there is going to be a substantial sell-off as a result of this news and what we're seeing today is not the full extent of what could happen with this stock and i really want to stress that we had a first initial reaction but now we're having a second reaction and i think this is just the beginning of where boeing is going to sell off to by tomorrow morning that's why i really want to push this video out as soon as possible because i know my subscribers like to trade boeing and a lot of you guys are in a long-term position on boeing and as a result i just want to give the recommendation that you should definitely get out and just wait to see where the bottom is and hopefully you can get it around this 145 again that would be an absolutely insane move if they did sell off that much you can see that this would cause a sell-off of over 15 percent here around 10 to 15 percent and if they did sell off this much well that's how much their forecast is meant to sell off in the next five or ten years so it makes sense but just keep a close eye out here guys in the short term i see the 165 not holding up i think they're going to sell all the way to 162 and potentially even sell off below that so just keep a close eye out as always like i said this stock is a great long-term buy they're one of the greatest american companies and the federal uh, government really likes to help this company out when they're in trouble such as we've seen with the federal commission the federal aviation commission flying this airplane around testing it sooner than it probably should be making sure that people still have a good perspective on boeing's company however this news that just came out is really going to change a lot of investors perspectives and mindsets on what the company can do in the short term here so just keep a very close eye out this is going to be a very great opportunity for options traders the weekly contracts on boeing are already up over 200 percent 300 percent on some of them that are closer to the money so it is absolutely a great time to play options for this company and to potentially buy or sell puts calls etc depending on where you think the company might head like i said 165 is the short-term resistance for today 162 is probably where they're open tomorrow and even below that is where they'll probably head in the in the near future here if this news doesn't change and if we don't get any other uh, announcements about this company in the short term so as always guys good luck trading don't forget to like and subscribe the video and thanks so much for watching